Yo, what's going on, buddy? Today we're, back. Today we're back inside of Roblox for another video. And today, you guys can tell by the title of the video, we are in Theme Park Tycoon 2 for the very first time. I've never made a video on this game. I've actually never... Actually, I don't think I've ever played it on stream either. So, I've been working on this little park for a long time now. Alright, so before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that 90... 1.9% of people that watch my channel are not subscribed and only 8.1% of people that watch my channel are actually subscribed So if you guys could just take a second out of your day out of the video, you know Go down below hit the subscribe button for me, please. I would very much appreciate it And while you're down there hit the like button and with all that said let's get into the video but so now we are here, and I want to give you guys a tour of everything that I've created. So, you know, we have a little tunnel area, you know, we got some crystals, we got some trees, we got some gold right here. Now, if we come over here to the left side, you have some more crystals right here. You have the uh, plane ride. Over here, you have teacups. You know, over here, you have a carousel. Over here, you have balloon ride. Right here, you have four bathrooms. No, it doesn't really go good right there, but you know, it is what it is. Right here, we have a spiral slide. Right here, we have the observation tower, it goes up, you can see the entire park. No, okay, so then right here, Ferris wheel is right here. Oh, and then the final ride, well, actually, another ride I didn't say, but the dark ride is right here, all the way at the end. Right here is actually the vintage car ride. Yes, you can tell, you go over here. Turn to the right, and then you turn to the left, and go up this little staircase up here, guys. You know, and then boom, come over here, and then the then there's the multi launch roller coaster. You know, it actually let me just like okay, it's ending right now. Now we're put it on testing. I'm gonna give you guys a little ride, a little taste of what this little of what this is. So you come up, you go completely straight up. Straight up, and then you come over here a little bit. So it's um, it's a little process, but you know, I really love the idea of my little theme park. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of roller coasters over here. You know, everything. I'm not yet 100% done, but you know, now let's come over here and just look where the roller coaster is going. It's really, really, really. This roller coaster is really cool. I'll give it that. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna be right here. Here, around, around, and then you can go up, go down, go up, over, around that, you know, under the staircase. Boom, you're here. And, you know, I really love it. It's really cool. You come down further over here, you have the junior coaster. Ride, you know, just uh, not anything cool. You know, it's just the, uh, it's just one of these designs. I didn't actually create. I just placed it. So now you come over here. Then you have another ramp right here. You know, the roller coaster goes underneath it again. And then this roller coaster is actually the vertical launch coaster. I have no idea where it is at the moment on the map because this roller coaster is probably my biggest one yet. And now we're on to the second roller coaster of the video. You know, this is probably would be one of my favorite roller coasters yet. And this one actually took probably about like two, like a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollars to make. So it, this is a very 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 expensive uh, roller coaster I created here. Now, so this is a long turn, not too long, but not too know uh short so here go up on this little thing right here so the roller coaster actually won't make it up fully with that tiny drop right there so in the big going uphill again so i need to add the little guided line thing we're adding the guided lines here to all the way to right here because you can tell how slow it gets after so yeah just you know 
now it come down. Come on, go down. Down, you know, go straight again. You go down, then you go up again. Then you go up some more. Connect back to here. Then you go down once again. This is probably my favorite drop. This drop is actually completely straight now. Yeah, round. You go back up. And I just do that because we'll go down again. So now we come over here. Go down once again. Go down once again. Round underneath the staircase. Come up a little bit. Boom, there you go. It's completely perfect. Now, you can go right where you went right, you can go left where you went left, so now you can go straight. And it's like, you can go right or left, you can go right, and it's just, you know, some light poles, I actually can change those. And there's some seats right here, some trash cans, you know, a little side path just to walk. The Rome building, I like to call it for, the, you know, the seats and the, all of this stuff right here, and, uh, <laughs> The food, all of that good stuff. So I actually meant to put down two more witch hats, but I ran out of money doing that. So now we're going to set all to that price. Boom. There we go. I absolutely love it. So now, to come out here, you just pretty much go straight. I actually have not finished this part. I completely forgot about the part of the uh, theme park. But... So it might be, it has a lot of trash I need to clean up. So over here you got the, the Gravitron cart. Over here you have the Enterprise cart. Over here you have the Drop Tower cart. Over here you have the Topple Tower. And then right here, you have the Space Ring. You know, right here with the Twister cart. Right here with the Frisbee cart. Right here with the, the Swinging Ship. Right here you get the Fireball. Right there you got the Rota. Then you come back over here, I guess. No. And then there's like a little nature area right here. You know, got some trees, got some lights in it. You know, you got little sections like this. The uh, two chairs, the two trash cans. You know, I love it. I actually look, absolutely love it. You know, so most of it isn't even trees too. Most some of it's bushes. I absolutely love it. Come over here. You have the double swing. Come even further over here. You have the top spin, and then you have launch, free fall, cart. And then, come further over here, you have rocking disc. Two rocking discs, I guess. I didn't even know that. And then, uh, the slingshot. Around here, or go through it. Now, this is our actual, um, is actually our newest part of the park. I just opened a few minutes ago. It is over here so I, there's another little row right here you know it's supposed to wrap around the entire building but you no know, due to some roller coaster you can't actually do that so over here this is our 4d coaster this is probably uh probably might be one of our shortest roller coasters so we're gonna close it test it why is it still going Come to me, bro. Okay. Here. Okay. And then right here, we have the splash boats. This is probably my favorite ride right here. Then you got a little ramp to go up there. That for later though. That is our literally our newest part of the newest thing that we have added to the park. So now we're gonna open it again so we can ride on it. There you go. It's it's a backwards ride. I've done this uh, ride before at Dollywood, but maybe not backwards. I think it's called the Eagle Ride. Um, you're looking forward, but it's pretty much like this. So, forward, so. You know, 40 coaster. I was actually expecting it to be a literal little, like, 4D or like 2D, you know, 3D coaster, but it's not. So you just go backwards. And then, so this is probably my. Not my favorite roller coaster, I think the wooden coaster or something like that has to be my favorite. But come over here. You can go up slightly. 
And this is probably, I think this actually is our smallest roller coaster. Yeah. Sorry if I am talking a lot. You know, I've just been working on this so long. I'm so proud of it. Come back down. So you got two little ramps right here. Go around. Go down one more time right there. Come around right here. This is actually where you cannot connect it. These two ramps right here. Because of this right here. So then you got to go through and around. There's like another little walk area right here. Then you come over here. You have the corkscrew coaster train. You know? So let's actually hop on the ride with them. Okay, so we're going up, and then it's not like a completely straight up, and then now we go straight up. And then it's like a decently long little coaster right here, I would say. Come up, come up, come up. Here and here. And then this might actually be my favorite roller coaster. I forgot. And you like twist on the way down. It's like really cool. And then you go like up, round, down again. Up, very, very, very quick, fast. And fast. Down again, come around, through the wooden coaster train, around up here, go back up here, and around again. And that is the road coaster. So, this is really cool. Right here again, this is where we cannot connect anything coaster happen. We have to disconnect something. But you know what? That is all right. And then, so now we just have the wild Mickey coaster right here. That we don't have, we don't have to go through that right now. And then there's another path right here. We're not going to go right there just yet. Come back over here. All the way back here. Got to come over here now. And there's a little, you know, the steeplechase court uh, coaster horse. You know, it's a little small thing. Actually, that might be our small Right, that or like one of the like, junior coasters or something like that. But this is probably the most difficult roller coaster I had to do. This one is a pain in my butt to have to have done. It took me like an hour to make this coaster because I had to go through around, up and around, you know, delete some paths, you know. I just, it just, it was a pain in the butt, bro, to be honest with you. Alright, boys, it's time for our ride on the train. Over here, test it. Wait, can I get on it? I don't think. This one is literally my favorite, probably. It has to be like top three favorite trains in this um, little world I created. So, I do that. I love it. It's just my it, this, no, I, I love it. I'll shut up now. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. To be honest with you guys. So let's go. Down. Go up. Turn a little bit. Up. Go back down. Now over like three coasters right here. Back up. Go down once again. And then go down. Forward. Go up again. Down. Go over right here. Up. Around. The coasters. Now we gotta go right here. Make the path. Boom! Absolutely love it. And it can go on again, not really care. So many lights over here, I have no idea why. So now you can kind of come over here. Oh, uh, actually, no, 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 no. We already checked that out. We already checked that out. No need to do that. Now you're going to come back over here, basically. Now you're going to take a turn. Now this is the turn path you want to go. This is the key to get onto the wild, the wild mouse coaster train. Right here. Come back around. Another path, we're not going to go on that path yet. This is probably my favorite coaster right here. Actually, I feel like I've said that to every single coaster. I think all the coasters are my favorite roller coasters, to be honest with you guys. Alright, so we're literally like currently just on this roller coaster. We're, we're sitting on a uh, customer, but it doesn't matter. Here. I love flying coasters though. In real person, like actual like IRL, like my favorite roller coasters yet. Come back to here. Up. Grab thing. We'll call it boosters. To boost us up here. Come.
come back down. Around. Come back down again. Around. Boom. Let's see how much money this has made us so far. Fifty thousand dollars. Not anything crazy. But it is really good. So this right here, the inverted coaster, it's about to come out to us. We don't have to do anything about that right now. And we'll just hop on it. As a ride, boys. Let's get on it. Alright, come on. Yeah, they love it. Looks like they love it. Alright. By myself, we're going to go on this ride. Process to get up here though, you know, because I've tested every single coaster already. So it is a little challenge, but it is what it is. And then, now this part is the slowest part. Have you ever been on this the splash boat ride in real life? It's really fun. It's absolutely really 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 fun. up here now and going down once again let's go down this is probably my favorite part right here right. and we go really deep down flashes no up one up two and then, it just off right here. then it just floats around so it's done i gotta watch that part so look how many people are riding this Splash boat ride. How much has it made? Oh, <laughs> $780. But you know what? Again, it just opened a little bit ago. So, let's get on the rapid ride with this, with uh, whatever this guy's name is. We'll, we'll stay in front of him. So, this right here is a really big, you know, water slide right here. You know, I like to call this the water part of the, of the, of the park because, you know, we got literally most water stuff. It's two coasters, it's just two coasters, that is it. No, look how many people are on the rapid ride though. Someone else is on the rapid ride too. Cheer him out, cheer him out. Antonio. Well, I guess it's just like, all four boats are going, but they're not all full though. So, come back down over here. Ooh, wee. That's like a little, it's like bumpy right there. You know? if, you, if you've ridden this ride, 
in like in, in real life, you'd know that is like the best part of the ride. Is bumpy. Bumpiness is definitely the best part of the ride. For me, I guess, you know, that's that's, that's my favorite part of it. But, you know. but under the wooden coaster, wooden coaster is literally like all wooden. Down. One last time, and then you just go around. You don't gotta watch that part. And now you come back over here. Just straight back. You gotta go up this two ramp right here. You know, it has a light, you know, benches, trash cans, you know. Come up here, you have a bench, one bench, two trash cans, two benches, two trash cans. Up here, you have crystals, you know. It looks like an actual thing. And it's really, really, really cool. I, I absolutely love it. Now where's this little wooden coaster at real quick? Alright, boys. The wooden coaster is here. We're going to get on it. You know, we love being on the left side of it for some reason. Normally I'm on the right side, but it doesn't matter. Wood coasters, left side is where it's at. This game, that's rather easy. Enough of my yapping though. Came up here. Wood coaster is definitely the coolest roller coaster I have. Yeah, you know, a little turn. Go you know, up, down, sideways, you know, a little turn. Boom. Up here. It takes a little bit of the advantage to get up here, but. You know what? It is what it is. It stops just right here. You go down again. Down. Up. Down. Straight. No, under the wood coaster itself. So, a little bit of uh, the advantage to get up here. Now we're going to go back down once again. We're going to go up once again. Back down once now I just cruise all the way over here. And I love it. It's definitely my favorite coaster on this park. No, this is definitely number one for me. And the coolest part about this, it's actually my dream. It's on top of the food resort. So, yep, that is where this video is going to end. I hope you all enjoyed the little walkthrough of my theme park that cost me about like 10 million dollars maybe like even 15 million dollars so hope you all enjoyed please make sure to subscribe like hit the notification i'll see you in the next video hope you all enjoyed and peace out